Beautiful Burnout takes as its, as its centre the world of boxing. By world, I do mean world rather than just the sport because it's, it's a life, it's a lifestyle, it's a life choice and it's about the, the people at the heart of it and also how it permeates out to the people around. And specifically it looks at a Scottish community and a Scottish environment where they've got a long tradition and history of not necessarily boxing stars but a fantastically vibrant boxing community and they don't have celebrities to hang on to they just have the, the reality of being you know being in these kind of inner city areas and turning up at a boxing club twice a week for two hours and just the, the, the spirit of that just what that means to people I'd worked on a previous National Theatre Scotland show called Black Watch and they were working in New York in a theatre where there weren't any showers in the venue so they had to go across the road to a boxing gym to get showered after the show. And I got taken over to the boxing gym and I'd never been to one before. And it's like it's all microcosm because there's men and there's women and there's blacks and Hispanics and blue collar and white collar and they're all just doing what has form to them but to me made no sense at all but it's incredibly visceral and frightening and intimidating and exciting. came back to the UK and spoke to Scott Graham, who's the other half of Frantic, who were both the artistic directors. And then out of the blue, he said, oh yeah, I've been a boxing fan for 20 years. This is a guy I've been working with for 17 years and never knew about any of this. And we suddenly go, oh, actually, have we ever seen a boxing show on stage? Well, yes, has it been done well? Absolutely not. Can we do it? We don't know. Why don't we go and find some actors and punch each other for seven, day, seven days and figure out if that's possible? So that's how it started, really. We worked with Bryony Lavery, who we'd worked with on a show called Stockholm a few years earlier. When we approached her about the show, she said, well, I, I think I should write it. I know nothing about boxing. Let me go and find out. So it was interesting for us to get a, a, an angle on it. And she brought in um, a mother figure. And also there's a female boxer in the club as well. Welcome to the glamour of boxing. <laughs> who is that mysterious figure loading the Zanussi? Human beings call me Carlotta, but under the umbrella title of mother, I'm head cook, cleaner, bottle washer, laundrette, alarm clock, small investment, vulnerable lending bank with over generous overdraft facilities, bulk combiner of proteins, carbs, rubbish, calorie supplier. I feed the beast. Carlotta Burns is such a lovely character, actually. She's very down to earth. She has quite a hard life. She is on her own with her son. And her son, I think, at the start of the piece is maybe about 17 or 18. Might even be a wee bit younger, actually. Um, and so she has quite a handful. So I think she's trying to find anywhere that she can maybe channel his energies. And all of a sudden, he comes up with the notion of boxing, and she thinks, great, that solved my problems. I know where he's going to be of an evening. Breakfast today is four boiled eggs, toast, and jelly beans. Jelly beans. Eggs boiled for three minutes, no more. Three minutes in boxing, ma. No more, no less. The future champion likes his eggs. He's soft enough to dip my socials in. Every punch in that ring has an effect on people that are outside that ring. And that goes from the, immediately to the trainer and uh, the, the medics and then the judges and then the audience. But then outside of that, there's, you know, is there a mother in a kitchen who won't go and see the fight? How does she feel? And the medics at the hospital who are gonna receive a boxer in three hours time to cover up the kind of bruises. So it was the idea about a bit of the wider world. Some of the most amazing pieces within um, Beautiful Burnout are, are the slower pieces, the incredible dance numbers that are just mesmerising. The artistry of boxing is footwork and how they can, you know, duck and dive and, and it mirrors dancing so beautifully. So to actually put a very strong movement piece against the boxing world, it seems really obvious actually. Also, the music from Underworld is extraordinary music and it's certainly got a very strong beat to it, so beware. <laughs> first coming together with the show and we were myself and Scott were really getting stuck in and over the tour our cast got a lot better and we didn't so now we tend to kind of keep it down and just um, we just kind of quietly just have a little kind of flurry at the back but um, they kick our asses these days so can you give us one or two of you I, I would I'd be terrible 
I know what they're called. And I, I, it's, like, it's like singing into a hairbrush. I think I'm fantastic, but I wouldn't want to tell it. I wouldn't want to show anybody. 